Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We have the pleasure of welcoming today Ava Cowan, a renowned celebrity model and fitness trainer. Welcome, Ava. Thank you for having me. Wow. I, I, she looks so good. Yeah. I want to be like Ava. I want to be <laughs> Ava when I grow up. But you know what? We've seen you on countless covers of magazines. You're a fitness writer. What else do you do? Oh, my goodness. I, um, I've hosted my own bodybuilding show. Mm -hmm. I... Um, I'm collaborating with a competition color to create my own color, so you look amazing on stage. I know there's just so much, and, and you know, but, but here's what I think what's interesting, and I think what our audience will appreciate is that it wasn't always sunshine and roses uh, for you, Ava. Tell us a little bit about your, about your background. Um, my background is, um, I'll just say that I had um, some difficulty um, pretty much in my early adulthood. I. Um, battled addiction to drugs and alcohol for a long time mm -hmm. and um, the fact that I'm sitting here is nothing short of a miracle honestly and mm -hmm. I think it's important to share that because that's my truth and that's where I come from and those were my obstacles and I think that a lot of people have obstacles of their own whether they overeat or they don't feel good about themselves or in bad relationships and for me really I made a decision five years ago. I said, I'm not going to live like this anymore. And you are truly somebody to look up to. I mean, look how fantastic she looks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, you know, I think people, when they see somebody that's built as well as you are, mm -hmm. think that you have to be, do the, you know, the routine of being a bodybuilder, but you're actually a fitness um, competitor. I mean, you, you compete in fitness. And there is a difference, right? Between, right, the, between the fitness and the bodybuilder. Kind of yeah. yeah, there's a difference. Um, what I do is a little bit between a look of fitness and bodybuilding. Okay. Um, it's about symmetry and balance and uh, poise and stage presentation and conditioning. There's a lot of different aspects and elements. And I picked figure because I think it's an attainable look and I think it's more appealing for me. Mm. I just don't know if I could get that big to be a bodybuilder. Right. but. Well, that, maybe not. You may not necessarily want to. That may yeah. not be, you know, right for you. But I right. think one of the interesting things about your story is, is going through everything that you've gone through, and you woke up one morning and you said, you know what? I don't want to live like this anymore. I want to change my life. Why did you pick what you picked? Why did you pick really working out and getting into shape to do these fitness competitions? And and what has been your inspiration? I picked that because <clears throat> I got sober, and then I thought. Now what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I really had no skills. I, I, uh, I didn't know what to do for a living. So I really sat with myself and I thought, okay, what do I know how to do? So I went back to when I was a child, I was a gymnast. And I knew I could do that. So I thought, okay, what, what can I do in terms of physicality? What can I do? So I went to school to be a certified personal training specialist. And that gave me a new career. And then I trained myself. And um, what inspires me is that there's no way I'm going back. Wow. I've done that. Wow. And um, I've done a lot of things in my life that didn't make me feel good. Yeah. And I don't want to do that anymore. Well, quickly, we need to wrap it up. But, you know, for all the women out there, mm -hmm. what, and for me too, maybe Danielle, Look, maybe let me, not. Let me, no. get a, let me get a pen <laughs> so I can start writing some notes as she talks. Yeah. <laughs> advice can you give us to get acclimated like you you know I mean to look like you and basically. to look like you yeah, absolutely this is my biggest piece of advice live in the moment uh. just start right now even if you had chocolate cake last night or if your breakfast was horrible and you had donuts just start now because that's all we have so just worry about what you can do today to be fit how can I live my life a little bit better and what can I do today to change because nothing else matters but right now. Wonderful. And your website real quickly? www.avacowan.com. Wonderful. Ava, thank you so Thanks. much for sharing You're your story. You're truly an inspiration. Yes, thank very you. inspirational. And share how you get those biceps too on a commercial <laughs> break, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Ava. Thank you for having me. <laughs>